A police chase in Maine ends with a truck destroying the inside of a general store. Today, the Bolsters Mills Country Store in Otisfield is closed. Debris is everywhere, and the store's owner isn't sure where to start the cleanup. NECN and NBC10's Dustin Vladkowski has more on what happened. The impact was so violent that 30 feet out there was packaging. Last night, John Bisnett was woken up by a phone call. This red pickup truck had slammed straight through the front door of his store, throwing furniture, food, other items everywhere. Damage, Bisnett estimates, around fifty to $80,000. We do have insurance. It's up in the air on what they're going to cover. As of right now, we're just at a standstill waiting. The chaos started with a report of a suspicious truck at a gas station in Raymond, Maine. Police checked on the truck, but the driver sped away, starting a 17-mile pursuit that ended here. Employees at this store feel lucky nobody got hurt. During the day, the store is full of people, some of them seated at tables and chairs that were right here. This whole section was all tables. Those are all gone. We had another shelf here, our ice cream freezer, kitchen sink, and it's kind of really unrecognizable right now. Big mess. <laughs> a mess that'll be cleaned up, but to what degree and when? Along with those questions, a staff of roughly half a dozen employees is suddenly out of work. Fortunately, you know, I have a second job, but the other girls, you know, this is their only job. This is all they have. And so you kind of have to worry and question about, you know, like, what are they going to do? For now, many of those workers are here, some bringing coffee from home to give regulars, shocked to find out what's happened. A sense of normalcy on a tough morning for this small community. And to lose something like this that's been here since the 1800s is devastating. It makes me really emotional actually talking about it. In Otisfield, Dustin Blinkowski, New Center, Maine. And police have identified the driver of the truck as 31-year-old Zachary Mercier, who they say had to be uh, tased rather before his arrest. He had minor injuries from the crash and is expected to be charged with criminal speeding, evading police, and failure to submit to arrest, among other charges.